The disruption downtown today was significant and may continue tomorrow. KITV's Daryl Huff joins us live with that. How does it look, Daryl? Pamela, right now, Baratana Street is wide open. They've made temporary repairs. We'll talk more about that later. State Office Tower is closed. It hasn't been repaired yet. As you said earlier, it'll be closed tomorrow. The three buildings along here, the three state buildings, share a HECO circuit with other high-rises downtown. And so when they turn off the power today, because of that gas leak, there was a lot of trouble. Yeah, they won't let Mortgage banker Craig Steele was stuck outside his Ali'i Place offices. Without power, the entire complex was shut down, and Steele had mortgage loans waiting to close. We can't uh, get to the loan closings, so basically there's no loan closings, no processing, no originations. Because we're not, we're not anticipating. Also temporarily evicted was the entire Honolulu prosecutor's office, while right across the street, surrounded by blacked-out buildings, the district courthouse was powered up and open for business. We had people manning every court. There was a tremendous level of cooperation between the judges, the prosecutors, the public defenders, so things are running very smoothly. Some cases were delayed, but for the most part, court cases were not affected. Across the street, the Alakea corporate tower only had emergency power, the T-Mobile outlet operating without computers, and the printing store sending customers to other downtown branches. Dan Bonilla walked to the office to avoid traffic, but still couldn't work. Came down here to the building and we seen it was closed down. I'm just surprised that you know we're, everything's out of power and what's going on. He decided to take his laptop in search of a Wi-Fi site. Others who managed to fight their way downtown were confronted with another challenge: the parking lots need electricity too. I tried to use my card to get in, and uh, when I pushed the button, and the guy said there's no power in the whole building, so the gate can't come up. Now, power was restored about 12.30 to every building in town except for this one, the state office tower. As we said earlier, that building will be closed tomorrow. Now, an important land use commission meeting that was scheduled for that building has been postponed until further notice. As for Baratania Street, we mentioned the gas company has put a temporary repair here, but they will be back tomorrow to make permanent repairs to that four-inch gas line. So you can expect it tomorrow after rush hour. Lanes closed here on Baratania Street. It is a choke point. You can expect to avoid this area if you want things to go smoothly for you on Powhatan on Friday. Reporting live from downtown Honolulu, Daryl Huff, KTV4, Island Television News.